Alright guys, today I've got a little video here. This is going to be on Lucid Launcher. And um, you can just download it right here from the Play Store. Very, very cool. Um, nice little application slash launcher, I guess is really what it is. Um, and I'm going to go through it today and show it to you. There's also a pro paid version you can see right there on the left. And I would highly recommend that if you want to support this developer and his work on improving the launcher, I'd highly recommend getting the pro version. All that being said, once you get it installed, let's go ahead and open it up. And this is actually the launcher right here. This is your basic home opening screen. And we're going to go through a bunch of it, how to set it up, how to add widgets, how to add applications to your launcher screens, things like that. So we're going to try to go through it all today and kind of give you a once-over of this launcher. So you kind of could already see that when I opened it up. If you scroll to your left, there is always a app drawer. This is your app drawer. This is where all your applications are. They're always on the left-hand side. And actually to scroll pages in the launcher, you're actually scrolling up and down. And you'll see that once I add some stuff. So let's actually add some things to the launcher really quick here. So we're going to add Chrome. So you're going to hold down on the application in the drawer. And you're going to add to home screen. And then you can see that now you have something there. So we'll add another one to this home screen really quick. Um, ES File Explorer, my favorite file explorer. Add that one. And you can see now, you can see how it scrolls. You get, you get the feel for it here. So we're scrolling up and down. So this is a little different. I kind of like this. It's just it's just unique. I don't see I haven't seen any launchers that actually scroll up and down like this. So it's a it's a nice feature. Now if we go the other direction, we'll actually open up Google. It's automatically in here. It's like a web browser built into the launcher, which is pretty neat, and it's always on your right hand side. So you can always get to it or scroll the other way and get right to your app drawer. Now uh, one of the things that I think would be really neat if there was some kind of an option in here to maybe set up, maybe you don't want your browser always on the right, maybe you want a different application. That would be really cool if that feature could become in this launcher. That would be make it really neat. I would like that kind of customization. Um, so you can see all this, pretty slick. The other thing you have in here in your application drawer, which I think is kind of nice, is you can come down here and you can click on an application and you can say add to favorites. So I'm going to add a couple of those in here really quick to favorites, settings maybe, to favorites, and I'll maybe add one more, maybe YouTube, there we go, and we'll add that to favorites as well. So now favorites are actually accessed a little differently. You can do it two ways. You can hit the little button up here in the top corner, and it'll open up your favorites, then you can launch the application. Or if you just swipe, swipe right across the side anywhere on the left hand side of your screen, it will open up your favorites whether you're in so it's pretty cool so like over here you're in you're in your internet you can swipe over and and get right into your favorites um, very easily I don't know I'll see if you can do it on here too yeah you can do it there too so anywhere within the launcher you can swipe over and get right into your favorites so I definitely like that feature as well another cool feature about this uh, bar on the side here this uh, favorites bar is that now you can actually rearrange the applications in it so if you hold down on one, you can see you can move it around. So if you want to resort your applications over here, or even actually remove them, is you can actually highlight one, and then hit trash. So it's kind of cool. You can actually rearrange some things on this uh, little uh, favorites bar. So it's a very nice, nice little feature added in here to this launcher that's fairly new, if I'm not mistaken. So very cool. Nice, nice little uh, feature right there for sure. Um, so let's go through some more of these settings. I'll show you another one here. So we're going to go ahead and if you hold on any of the home screens, the three up and down home screens, you can obviously add more. But if you hold down, these are your options right here. And we're going to go ahead and do an add a widget just to show you how this functions. And scroll around. I'm going to add, uh, I don't know, Tab a Talk Form XDA because it's probably one of my favorites. And it's going to go ahead and add it in here. And then if you click on it, you can then move it around where you want it. Let's actually move it to the bottom. Well, yeah, we'll move it right here. And then you see this little thing in the corner? You can actually expand it then and put it, you know, if you want full screen, like I, I kind of like full screen on it. So actually, let's make that a little bit smaller. Let's see here. Try it one more time. Oh, I erased it. But anyway, we'll do another one really quick. 
we'll just do chrome really quick there you go i think you guys get the point of it um you know if you hold down again then you can move and then obviously a little corner thing can expand so pretty simple that's basically how it works um if you want to add if you want to add widgets onto your screens uh, the other thing you can do obviously from holding down is you can go ahead and do like a lock desktop and what that, that does is it actually now will not allow you to pick up your icons and move them around whereas if you unlock the desktop let's uh do that really quick here well, that's funny it's not even letting me unlock but you can do it this way unlock desktop this way then go ahead and then you can move uh your icons around put them where you want them and you can actually relock right there or you should be able to hold down and then relock desktop right there you also obviously have your change wallpaper and you can go through i've got all kinds of different wallpapers on here and change your wallpaper out and then lastly by holding down you have the uh, lucid launcher which is also accessible from up here you say launcher settings um, you can go through it either way so i'm going to go through it this way go to lucid launcher and we'll go over some of the settings in lucid launcher so we can go to main you can change your scrolling animation so right now it's just called uh, cover flow. We're going to do zoom in, zoom out, and I'll show you guys what that, that actually looks like on the launcher. So when you turn, it just kind of pops in and out. You see how, see how they animate? it animates differently? Instead of just like a page turn, it's like this pop in and out look. So that's all that does. Um, and, and maybe he'll add more of those as he does more development on this uh, launcher, which is pretty cool. You can change your action bar color. So we're going to do like, we'll just do a red really quick to show you. Apply that, go back to home, and I held home. Let me try pushing back to home. There you go. You can see the bar along the top is now all in red, and you can change it however you like it. So there's some customization in it. Um, I'm do, I do like that kind of stuff. And then there's a lot of things for like margins and like um, opacities and different things like that. Launch orientation, full screen mode. So what full screen mode does, we'll hit that really quick, is it actually gets rid of your notification bar along the top. There you go. You can see if you want it, you pull down once to view it. And then if you want to pull your notification panel down, you can pull down twice. Um, so that's how that works. Um, I actually like seeing my notification bar. But there is an option if you, if you want to move it, remove it, which is nice. So those are most of the main settings. Let's go ahead and check out in uh, sidebar settings. This is going to be icon size and padding for the sidebar that opens up when you pull from the slide, which it doesn't do it in settings, but that's what that is. And you can adjust, you know, different different things in there, how that's going to like look and feel to you. Um, number of columns, app drawer settings, icon sizes, padding again, vertical spacing, just how, how everything's laid out in there. Uh, if you want to adjust all that thing, home screen pages. So you can see some gridding information up there. Hide search bar, which is the bar at the top. Let's actually go ahead and check that and see how that looks. Um, should be. Okay, yeah, there you go. So that search bar at the top that you had up here is now gone, but you obviously still have your uh, quick quick uh, applications or favorite applications there, which which is cool. I, I kind of like that it's hidden. It's kind of neat. Um, we'll keep going here. All right, so let's get back into settings here, and we want to turn that bar back on because I like the little icon on the top there that allows me to get into it and uh, get into the settings easier. So again, you've got a ton of stuff here for um, just your, your whole layout and your look of the launcher. Um, label colors, you can set that. They're on white right now. Um, different, different, different things you can uh, adjust in here. Here's browser settings, the built-in browser, um, and a couple things you can uh, enable and disable in there. Icon themes, basically if you already have a theme download, like here's a KitKat experience theme that I have, you can apply the icons to the launcher, which is nice, and it just changed the overall look of the launcher. A lot of launchers have that option in there. Advanced settings, you have backup and restore. Basically, you can back up what your layout is and how you like it, and then change it and then restore it back if you want really easily with the backup and restore or restore settings to default. Um, that's pretty much all the settings in this thing. It is pretty cool. Uh, definitely there is a lot of uh, uh, new features that I haven't seen in other launchers. But I definitely like the up and down scrolling. It's just, it's just something different. It gives you a different look. But again, big idea for the developer. If you can actually edit and change what you swing to, to the right or to the left even, would be really, really cool. 
um, maybe opening applications or something that way would be really neat. Um, other than that, that's pretty much what I got here. A nice little launcher here, Lucid Launcher. Check it out on Google Play. Download it, play with it yourself, see how you guys like it. Hope you guys like this little review of Lucid Launcher, and we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie, out.